All right, I'm going to show you that when the Bible talks about a religion, it talks about it in terms of being a woman. All right, and I'm going to try to make this real simple here in Revelation 21. Verse 9, it says, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. This is in reference to the body of Christ or the church. You, you could call it the Christian religion. Um, of course, you would have to uh, define that as only those of us that are saved, because that's what this verse is referring to. It's specifically talking about the holy Jerusalem, the great city, and this great city is a representative of the city of God and the people of God. All right, so it's not if you think of it uh, in terms of, uh, of, of like a physical city, and uh, you know the buildings and the streets and all that without the people, you're not understanding this clearly. This is about the people, the holy people of God. It's not about street lights and uh, stop signs. All right, it's about the people of God. Now, the new city that comes down from heaven is when we are changed in the twinkling of an eye, when we are resurrected, when we are transformed from being corruptible to incorruptible. Okay, so anyways, just, just to be clear on that, all right, so basically this is saying, hey, look, I'll show you the bride, the lamb's wife, and then it goes into, um, he carried me away into the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. All right, and then it goes into describing it. Now, let's go to Galatians 4. But Jerusalem, which is from above, which is the mother of us all. All right, so to go into context, uh, there is the Abraham's two wives, if I'm remembering correctly. For this, Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and answers to Jerusalem, which now is and is in bondage with her children. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free which is the mother of us, of us all. So it's talking about the the, the wife and uh, the bond woman, right? The free, one was free and one was bond, right? And, but Jerusalem, which is from above, is free. So we are to be free. And Jerusalem, which represents the people of God, because we're from above. And, um... We are free. So to make it simple, uh, let's call it the religion of Christianity. Just to make it simple and easy with the understanding that the, the Christian religion is only those of us that are saved. I get all the other stuff, uh, false converts and all that stuff. I get it, but we're going to ignore that. Now in Revelation 17 talks about come hither I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sits upon many waters now a whore is a prostitute or just a uh, what do you call those uh, uh, the the women that uh, they're not the wife okay they're not the wife but they are like a replacement for the wife or a, a uh, uh, somebody who pretends to be the wife, the great whore, and the the whore out sleeps with everybody, uh, you know, uh, from a societal point of view. So, and, and I saw a woman sit upon a scar a scarlet colored beast, <clears throat> excuse me, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. So, the 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 scarlet colored beast is the 
beast of Revelation. It is also the fourth beast of Daniel. And it, of course, is in spirit with the first beast of Daniel. All right, it's talking about the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go back to this. The whore, the mother, the woman. These are all talking about a religion. But it's not the Christian religion. It is a replacement religion. It is a pretend-to-be religion. They are pretending to be the Christian religion, but they are not the Christian religion. Just like uh, the prostitute or how the whore, whatever you want to, however you want to look at it, that is not the wife. That is somebody instead of the wife. So also is the woman of Revelation 17, which is the great whore. She is not the wife, but she is somebody pretending to be the wife. All right, so again, pretty obvious who it's talking about here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. This is talking about the Roman Catholic Church. No other possibility. No other possibility.